Welcome to the PinFlux tutorial on group boards. Group boards are a very effective way of maximizing your exposure on Pinterest. Basically with a group board, collaborators are allowed to contribute their pins to the owner's board. The pins on that board are then shared with all of the followers of all of the contributors. So rather than just sharing a pin with only your own followers, you can share your pins with all of your followers plus all the followers of the various contributors of that group board. So it can greatly expand your exposure on Pinterest and it's great to get involved with once you start getting set up. Pinflux makes it a lot easier to get involved with group boards that are worth joining. Just click on the group boards tab to get started and then enter your keyword. You can filter by category if there are too many results to start, but it's good to start with all at first. And you can also sort by pins, collaborators, followers, likes, and repins in ascending or descending order. So for our keyword, we found three different group boards already. We can see those arranged by the number of collaborators and the number of followers. Now it takes a bit of trial and error to find which group boards allow you to request to join because some are invite only but just by clicking through you'll see right at the top beside the follow button if that board allows requests to join at that point you can request to join and so long as you've maintained your pinterest profile you have a very good chance of being accepted as a collaborator to that group board and you can see they have 38 collaborators already, so they probably won't mind having one more because the more the merrier, the more eyes that are watching this group board means more exposure for everyone. So it's a win-win. And that's how the group board function works in PinFlux. For more tips on getting the most out of Pinterest with PinFlux, please see some of our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.